Hello, dear subscribers. <coughs> uh, one more problem from engineering mechanics. Problem set 2.5, solution to 2.79. And 2.80 will be the last, uh, last problem of problem set 2.5. Then we'll move on to a method of met moments and their applications. We'll study about moments, one more theorem. Let us discuss this. Uh, find graphically the reaction R A and R B. This point is A. What is the reaction force here? What is the reaction force at B? Induced at the supports A and B. A and B are two supports. Uh, supports for what? For a right angled bar A C B. A C B. This is a right angled bar. 90 degree here that is supported at A and supported at B, we have to find the reaction force at, at the point A and at the point B. And subjected to a vertical load P applied at the midpoint of AC. Uh, this part, the part AC of the bar ACB, which is right angled at C at the midpoint, this is the midpoint of, of the side AC, there is a vertical load P. Now, very simple, uh, here the bar is a right angled bar, ACB is a right angled bar, means 90 degree here. Now, P is a vertical load applied to the part AC, P is a vertical load acting vertically downward at the midpoint of AC. Uh, that is, uh, <coughs> let this point is equal to D. Now, since this is the midpoint of the side AC, therefore, uh, CD is equal to AD. Uh, therefore, CD is equal to AD or DA is equal to DC. That is equal to 0.61 meter. That is what is given in the uh, original problem. And also, it is given the length from B to C is 0.915 meter. That is also given. Uh, to be found out, the reaction at A and the reaction at B. So there are three forces. So what we have to do, we have to produce the line of action of two forces, as we discussed previous uh, numericals. And uh, then the third one, then, then the third force must have the same point of concurrence as the first two. So let R, B and P meet at point uh, E. The reaction force here pointing to this side and the line of action of point P, uh, point D, where the applied force is P, the line of action, they meet at this point, let it be E. So what is the conclusion? Therefore, so these are two forces. This is your RB, uh, this is your P. Now, so this is the common point of concurrence for R, B and P. So the reaction from A has to pass through the same point, has, has to pass through the same point. So that is what I have drawn in the next di uh, diagram. So, so the reaction R, A must pass through the same point E. Now, <clears throat> so that is what I have shown here. Uh, the reaction at B, R, B, when produced like this, and the line of action of P, when produced like this, this is the common point. So the reaction from the point A has to pass through the same point E for the condition of equilibrium. So once that is understood, let this angle is equal to alpha, E, A, D, angle E, A, D is equal to alpha. So now you can apply tan alpha, Tan of, tan of this angle in the triangle ADE, which is right angled here, will be perpendicular over base. That is equal to ED over, over AD. And ED is same thing as BC, and AD is also given. So, your tan alpha, so your alpha is equal to tan inverse 0.915 over 0.61, that comes out to be this many degrees. 
when converted into degree, minute and seconds of arc, 56 degree, 18 minute, 35.76 seconds of arc. So then what we can do is, uh, we can imagine at this point as if this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis, this is the origin, the point is the origin. And uh, draw the free body diagram to solve the problem. So I have drawn the free body diagram at point E. So to draw the free body, so we have to draw the free body diagram at point E. So you can shift R A, you can shift this R A to point E like this. And you can shift R B to this point and show it like this. To this side is your R A and you can P, you can show or you can keep it like this, P. Right. So that is what I have done here. So you can shift R A from point A to point E as shown in the figure. This point is E. You can also shift R B from point B to point E as shown here. And you can also shift the point uh, the load P to the point T and shown vertically downward. And since alpha is found out, uh, and uh, and let me explain, uh, since this angle I have taken it as alpha, so this angle will also be alpha because this line and uh, this side of the bar they are parallel and this is the transversal, so this is alpha, therefore this will be alpha because they are the corresponding angles. So that is what I have shown here. So now apply sigma y is equal to 0 means component of R A along y axis will be from this point to this point will be R A times sin alpha that is being opposed by P. So if their magnitudes are equal the condition of sigma y will be established. So sin alpha goes to the right side so P over sin alpha that is 1 by sin alpha times P and put the value of alpha and take the reciprocal of that, that is 1 over sin alpha, that comes out to be 1.20185 times p. Similarly, if you apply sigma x is equal to 0, uh, r b is already along positive x axis, the component of r a, if you drop a perpendicular, this length will be component of r a along negative x axis and that will be how much? r a times cos alpha. So, r a times cos alpha will be r b. Now put the value of R A which you just calculated from here, uh, here times cos alpha is R B. So R B is equal to put the value of alpha uh, and take cosine of that, multiply that with 1.20185, we get 0.666 times P. So both R A and R B are found out. R A is 1.201 times the vertical load P, RB is equal to 0 0.666 times the vertical load P, which is applied at the uh, middle of the side AC of the bar ACB.